Haverhill is a market town located in the county of Suffolk with a population of over 27,000 people, whereas in the 1900s it had a population of around 4,000. Today we are focusing on the railways that used to run through Haverhill from the north side and the south side. The north side was known as the Star Valley Railway and the south side was known as the Con Valley Railway. Both closed around 1967 by beaching. That year also saw the last train run from Cambridge to Haverhill and Haverhill is just one of few towns that no longer has a railway. But not all was lost of the railway as in August 1973 the Con Valley Railway Preservation Society was formed by two railway enthusiasts as they wanted to rebuild a short section of the railway, one mile to be exact, to operate a steam service as a tourist attraction near Headingham Castle. Here's an interesting fact. This locomotive we see here so happened to be one of the workhorses on the Star Valley Railway in the 1960s. Right, so now we're walking on top of what used to be the Haverhill South Station. It also used to be home to the goods uh, coal yard, which obviously all the freight trains used to transport the coal and minerals to Haverhill from other locations. As you can see, it's all sort of, uh, the ground is all sort of not level. So this is where obviously the tracks used to come. Um, you'll see there's no, there's nothing left now. Absolutely nothing. It's been completely demolished. All you've got is a barren wasteland. So behind me is uh, Sturmer Arches and basically um, this used to link uh, the Star Valley Railway to the Con Valley Railway uh, in sort of a H shape. The, the railway used to go into a H shape. One, year, one side used to go to Haverhill North Station, the other side used to go to Haverhill South Station which we visited earlier. So let's go and have a look. Right, so we're currently on top of Sturmer Arches now and this is probably one of the most historic things that are still preserved here in Haverhill. Uh, it used to be a single track heading up to Haverhill South Station from um, well the South Line which is the Con Valley Railway from the Haverhill North which used to basically diverge off to the Con Valley Line so trains used to go from Haverhill North up towards Headingham and other places in Great Yeldham. Uh, same with the South, I used to go up that way but the south was mainly used as I say for the coal yard and repairing the locomotives as well as transporting the coal and freight from other areas. Right and this is the view of what people would see over this magnificent vine. As you can see it's a very sad sight as we still see traces of the old railway track down below me. The remains at the junction point where the Con Valley and Star Valley Railways met. Uh, we're just going to have a walk up the Star Valley Railway and just have a look at what the remains are left on it. Right, so now we come up to another bridge. This one is a metal bridge. Uh, as you can see, the wide the, it's very wide in, the, in between, and that's because this particular section used to be double track. And obviously one of those double tracks used to diverge off over Sturmer Arches um, on a junction, which we've seen. Um, and yeah, so this used to carry the trains from Haverhill North all the way up towards Clare and uh, Sudbury. Right, so now we're going to have a look at the most important station on the line of the Star Valley Railway and that is the Haverhill North Station, which is located, well, was located in the middle of the town. Currently I'm standing in Tesco's car park, which once used to be the site of the Haverhill North Station. It 
was uh, derelict for quite some time. Uh, the years escaped me when Tesco was actually opened. But um, the good ship used to, uh, used, to, used to still remain here, along with the uh, cattle platform of the old station. And behind me is the Tesco building, which used to be the station building. It was, it was built exactly on top of what used to be the station. Right, so currently I'm outside the Haverhill Art Centre. Uh, this is where they hold uh, the Frail Haverhill meetings where they're planning on uh, rebuilding the railway near sort of Sainsbury's area because they couldn't rebuild it in the same area as it was back in the 1960s due to the fact that a load of um, houses have now been built over the site. Um, there has been drawings uh, already been made for the new line to go from Haverhill through Bartlow, Great Abington and heading up to Cambridge and so on so on and uh, thousands of people have uh, signed a petition wanting this railway back and it's turned out to be one of the most um, wanted things in the whole of Suffolk. By 2025, the town is expected to grow by about 10,000. The town really does need a railway back. This will help commuters get to Cambridge a lot easier and uh, will stop overpopulation of Haverhill in the not too far distant future. This has been a documentary of what used to be the Haverhill Railway. Let's hope that one day it will return.